Hi everyone with Kelvin here. So let's discuss about weekly contest from our 57 third question paired with maximum gold. So there is a gold mine with a size of M times N and then we can move left up, left up right or down and then we, we will not visit the cells with zero gold so it means zero gold is not workable and then we can visit the same cells uh, more than once. So yeah we can start and stop at any position of the grid. So we can see from the example here. So they took the decision of going through nine, eight, and seven, and end up with a goal of twenty-four, which is the maximum. And on the second example, they go through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and end up with the goal of twenty-eight. And even though there is a twenty, but um, in sum, this is um, not higher than twenty-eight. Um, it's not necessarily the longest path, but uh, the biggest amount of gold we can get. So how are we going to solve this question? So um, this question have a constraint of grid that at most have the size of 15 times 15. And yeah, it will contain at most 25 cells of gold. So this is a very small number of amount. So what we can do instead is... Um, we just try to look through the entire uh, grid and then found out like um, we try to find out um, if it start with the grid of zero of course uh, we return a zero immediately uh, same when we do the recursion but otherwise we just uh, perform a normal DFS to four direction and see here uh, we add the visited grid so we just make sure when we perform the DFS we are not um, going back to the grid we are from and then we remove it after we finish the that grid DFS and then at the end we return the that grid value plus the maximum of the fourth direction it can find so yeah after that we will get the highest value um, from the DFS itself and that's it for this question so thank you for watching see you on the next weekly contest